Hello, everyone, and welcome to another evening of beautiful music right here on From the Top. I'm your host, Peter Dugan, and we have a very exciting evening ahead of us. You all know the guitar, this beautiful six-string instrument. Uh, you can take it to the beach. You can take it to your bonfire. You can do air guitar, uh, but that's not what we're going to have tonight. It's going to be classical guitar tonight. Guitar is beautiful in the concert hall or, even better, in a very intimate setting and uh, that's what we're going to experience virtually tonight with not one, not two, but three recent From the Top alums. They range in age from 11 to 17. Uh, they were all on the show quite recently. They're all wonderful people and wonderful players. Uh, you're going to love them. You're going to love their music. And I can't wait for this concert. Uh, before we meet them, I'd like to encourage all of you to get into the chat Tell us where you're watching from and let us know how you're enjoying the program. It means so much to our young artists to hear from you and to hear your words of support and encouragement, uh, especially now when we, uh, we can't hear your applause. So your words in the chat uh, certainly mean a lot, and we appreciate that. Uh, I think that's it. Let's get to it. We're going to be meeting Eric Wong, Amelia Diaz-Delgado, and Gwyneth Agler. Here they are. Yay! How you guys doing? Let's start with Eric, and I want each of you to go around, tell us where you are right now, uh, tell us how old you are, and uh, when were you on From the Top? Hello everyone, my name is Eric Wong. I'm from San Jose, California. Um, I was 14 years old when I was on From the Top in show 366 in LA during last March. Yeah, that was a fun one. How about you, Amelia? Hi, I'm Amelia, and I'm 11. I live in Santa Clara, California, and I was on From the Top with May on show 388. Yeah, that was a really special one. That was one of our blanket fort shows that we made in the height of, of the pandemic. We sent you a huge box of equipment and you recorded yourself right there at home. Uh, that was a lot of fun. And, and Gwyneth. Good evening. My name is Gwyneth Aguilar. I'm 17 years old and I'm from Denver, Colorado. I played on From the Top in February of 2019 here in Colorado. That was a fun show co-hosted uh, with my dear friend, Charles Yang, who's one of our co-hosts and creatives at From the Top and um, we got to jam with you on a piece uh, that that we wrote. Uh, that was so much fun. You're such a rock star performance. I remember that one well. Very clear uh, in my memory. Yeah. So uh, you're going to get to hear all of these amazing guitarists. You're going to get to uh, meet them and get to know a little bit more about them. But let's start now with some music. Eric, uh, kick things off for us. What are we going to hear first? You'll be hearing Scarlatti Sonata in D major, K53. All right, take it away. Thank you. 
Just beautiful, uh, Eric. Played with uh, such finesse. Uh, every phrase was just so so beautifully crafted. Nicely done. I mean, you made me feel like that is meant for the guitar, but actually it's not, right? It's a keyboard piece. Right, yes. It's one of Domenico Scarlatti's 500 harpsichord sonatas, and uh, this particular one is very joyous to me. If you want to, If you actually want to know a little bit more about this piece, I made a video talking specifically about this piece on my YouTube channel, The Six Stringed Eric. Yeah, you've been actually putting out a lot of content these past few months uh, during quarantine. I've been enjoying it so much. Um, check out The Six Stringed the six stringed Eric? Yes, yes. The Six Stringed Eric. Yeah, everyone check it out. Uh, great content, all about the guitar. And don't you interview some of your peers and stuff like that? Um, yes, uh, at the moment I'm doing a lot of work by myself, but I'm planning to interview a lot more of my peers, yes. Well, we're going to be doing some peer interviews now. I'm going to take a back seat and let you guys do the hosting. Uh, Gwyneth, why don't you get us started and ask a question of Eric? Okay, first of all, that Scarlatti performance is mind-blowing, and I just want to say congrats on that. That was amazing for me to watch, so thank you so much for that. Um, here's a question. Okay, so if you were stranded on a desert island, you were able to take three books with you, what would you choose? Ooh, that's a good question. I think I would choose, this can't be a book series, it has to be individual books. Uh, it could be either one. Okay. I think, I think, I think either one's acceptable. Okay, then I would take The Book Thief by Marcus Zuzak. Um, let's see, uh, probably night by ellie wiesel and the harry potter book series there's some good choices yeah. Not very, i mean very clever that he chose something that gave him seven for the price of one <laughs> the, the kid clearly can you know has a has a fast wit about him he just made uh turn three books into nine very good <laughs> answer um sorry that's just my two bit uh yeah okay good I'll, I'll shut up now. Okay, um, Amelia, you have a question for Eric? Oh, yeah. So that was a really great performance, Amelia. Really like yeah, and uh, my question is, um, during quarantine, a lot of us have been unable to go back to like, music school. But, like, yeah, I've been missing a lot of stuff. I've been, I have been doing with my music friends. So what's the thing you most miss about music in these times? Um, what I probably most miss about music is playing music with a lot of my friends. I used to be in a chamber ensemble at my school, and I also used to be in a guitar ensemble. So I really miss playing chamber music with other people. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it's certainly been um, a tough, tough time for those of us who love chamber music, as I, I think we all do. 
Well, this was fun, and we're going to have another round of questions soon. Uh, but first, let's have some more music. Eric, you've got another piece for us, right? Yes, I do. I'll be playing the third bagatelle by William Walton from his five bagatelles. This piece, I actually switched pieces last minute because I heard the tragic news that my favorite guitarist, Julian Bream, had passed away recently. So this particular piece was dedicated to Bream. And I thought, so I've listened to him since I was little. I wanted to do something to commemorate him. So I decided to play the third bagatelle, A la Cubana, by William Walton. Beautiful. All right, uh, Gwyneth and Amelia, let's uh, sit back and enjoy this performance. Such a cool, quirky, but, you know, uh, enchanting piece there by, by William Walton. I love that one. Didn't you play that on the show when you, were, when you were on From the Top? I did. I did. I relearned it, actually, just two days ago. So, so. Wow. Um, quick question uh, on that, which is when you revisit a piece like that, uh, do you ever find that you hear it differently or feel it differently coming back to it after over a year? Oh, absolutely. That piece, when I played it on From the Top, I played it in a very, um, I think, more reserved way. And mm. I think I kind of took a lot of uh, musical liberties, I suppose, with the piece when I played it this time. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I can hear, like, it's very exciting to me because I can hear your growth as an artist in just in the difference and, and how um, right now with that performance, it was just, it just felt so spontaneous. And it's really cool that you just brought it back in, in just a few days. It's amazing. Um, well, we're going to hear now from another guitarist. For those of you just joining us, that was Eric Wong uh, coming from San Jose. He is 16 years old. Now we're going to hear from Emilia Diaz Delgado, who's 11 and also coming to us from California. Emilia, what do you have to play? Oh, so I'm playing the Danza Paraguaya by Agustin Pio Barrios. And I really love this piece because it makes me think of birds. Because one day I was playing it on my front porch and this little baby bird feather pulled down and it was fluttering around and landed on me. It, the, the baby bird landed on you? No, the baby bird's feather, like the feather. Oh, the feather. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was, because I was going to be a little concerned if the bird itself just kind of fell out of the sky. <laughs> And landed. I'm glad it was just the feather. Okay, so so this is your your special piece, and clearly that was a sign that this piece is meant for you. Let's hear it. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
a charming performance uh, and what a charming piece uh, by this Paraguayan uh, guitarist, uh, Barrios, who was unknown to me. And, um, his, I didn't know any of his music, and maybe that makes me sound like a real novice in the world of guitar, but I see Eric smirking down there. Uh, for those of you just joining us, that was 11-year-old Emilia Diaz Delgado. Uh, this is Guitar Night here at From the Top. And um, we're going to have her peers ask her some questions. I'm going to take the back seat here. Uh, Eric, why don't you get us started by asking a question of Amelia? Sure. So first, Amelia, that was an amazing performance. That was so beautiful. Um, and the question I wanted to ask, do you have um, a dream piece of some sort, like a piece that you would, you really want to play in the future? I'm thinking to have an any completion 24. It's a, it's a very fast piece. Yeah. That's a like a million BPM, so to say. How about you, Gwyneth? A question for Amelia? Yeah, so Amelia, I know we haven't talked a ton, but I know two things that you really like are animals and Harry Potter. So I thought I'd combine those into a question. I just wanted to ask, do you have a favorite mythical creature? And if so, what, what is it? Uh, yeah, I think I'm between um, Destros, which I'm not sure if they're only from Harry Potter, and um, Centaur. Ooh, now most people probably are familiar with the Centaur, but tell us about that first creature for those uh, viewers that maybe aren't such Harry Potter fans. Yeah, so um, Destrals are winged skeletal creatures that can only be seen by people who have seen death. Mm. Such a, that's one of those elements from the Harry Potter series that has a surprising amount of depth, and it's a really great way for young people to kind of get their feet wet with some of these, you know, heavier life concepts. Really cool, really cool. Uh, all right, good questions, you guys. It's time now for Amelia's second piece. What do you have for us? Yeah, so I'm playing Nathalia by Anton Lauro. And he named this piece after his daughter, Nathalia. And I actually had the pleasure of meeting her a few years ago. Really? Well, how did that yeah. happen? Oh, I was at a guitar festival in Mexico. Yeah, she happened to be there. I love picturing, when, when was this? How long ago? I was 2017, I think. So I'm picturing eight-year-old Emilia just rocking out at a guitar festival in Mexico and, you know, schmoozing with these, with these heroes like Antonio Lauro. I mean, this is, this is amazing. Or at least his daughter. Oh, his yeah. daughter, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, cool. All right. Let's, let's hear this beautiful waltz. <laughs> Thank you. 
fantastic. For those of you just joining us, that was Emilia Diaz Delgado. She's 11 years old. And this is Guitar Night. Um, like that kind of Guitar Night? No, Peter. It's Classical Guitar Night. Um, the intimate and beautiful, delicate sounds of guitar coming to you live from three different places. Uh, we are recording this a few days ahead of when you're watching it, but everything is happening live and in one continuous take so uh you can still get that experience of the excitement of a live performance and um before we uh, jump into our next performer i just want to let you know that uh, we're very excited because at from the top we are going to make a full season of radio next season uh, we'll be recording primarily in studios and following uh, proper social distancing and uh, and guidelines that are necessary to to keep everyone safe. Uh, but yeah, we are going to be making radio, and we're really excited about that. And also, um, we're going to be continuing to give out Jack Kent Cook scholarships, the Young Artist Award, uh, which which our young musicians can apply for. So that comes to a total of $200,000 in scholarship that are going to be given out next year. Uh, now is the time to have your young, music, uh, young musicians take a look at that criteria and then apply. The first deadline is just around the corner on September 15th. So go on over to fromthetop.org to learn more and apply online for that amazing opportunity. And now... We're going to meet our third guitarist of the evening. This is Gwyneth Agler. And uh, Gwyneth, you're coming to us from Denver, right? Yes, I am. That is true. Oh, man. I love Colorado, one of my favorite states. Love that mountain air. Tell us what you're going to play first. Um, I'm going to be playing the Eighth Etude by the Italian romantic composer Giulia Regondi. Beautiful. I love the variety of repertoire that you all are bringing uh, to tonight's concert. Can't wait to hear this piece. Take it away. Thank you.
just beautiful. If any of you ever thought that an etude means dee 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 dee, dee I hope you uh, th- that performance has changed your mind. It's it's wild to me that that's considered an etude when it's just so full of heart and uh, tenderness, and you really performed it beautifully, Gwyneth. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you're enjoying the program and if you tend to enjoy the kinds of things that you see it from the top and uh, hear on the radio, maybe you'd consider making a donation. You'll see a button somewhere around here. Um, and I know these are tough times, uh, but we certainly appreciate anything you're able to give. Uh, it's what makes it possible for us to do what we do in supporting young musicians and amplifying their voices so that they can be heard all around the country. And uh, that's a beautiful thing. And so we really, really appreciate your generosity. Please consider making a donation right now. And with that, it's time for a few more questions. Uh, Gwyneth, as you know, um, I'm not asking the questions tonight. Your peers are. We have, for those of you just joining us, three guitarists tonight. Uh, And we already heard from Eric and Amelia. Uh, Eric, why don't you ask a question of Gwyneth? Sure, of course. So, Gwyneth, um, I recently heard, that was such a beautiful etude, by the way, but I recently heard that you managed to get into the Peabody School of Music to study with Maestro Barwaco, and that's a huge congratulations, that's amazing. And I was wondering, how did you really decide to, like, go into guitar eventually, into college? Um, I mean, I guess it's a little difficult for me to answer since it's been something I've wanted to do for like a very long time. Like, I think I remember I was like eight or nine and my mom picked me up from like one of my guitar lessons and I was like, I want to be a guitarist. Like, this is what I'm going to do. And and so it's, it's been, uh, going on for a long time, but, um, you know, I think, Part of the reason I, I really um, want to study it further and go into to guitar beyond high school even even more is that um, guitar is one of those places, and not just guitar, but music and art in general, where really everyone has something to offer. And everyone, if you find something inside yourself that can, you can contribute, everyone can contribute something to the wonderful, amazing world that is um, the art that we make up. And so a big part of just why I wanted to go into it is I felt like there was a unique artistry that I could contribute and that really everyone has. Hmm. That's beautiful. Great question, Eric. And I think, you know, Gwyneth, it's so cool to see you in this mentor role as uh, the, the elder guitarist of the evening here. But I know that that's not new for you. Like you've been teaching for, for a while now, right? Um, yeah, but actually I haven't been, um, for a few months during, during well, quarantine. I yeah, haven't, yeah. but, um, yeah, I've taught, um, lessons here and there. And then I, I taught a few, um, classes kind of within Denver public schools. And so I helped out a bit in the, the middle school section of like my high school at times, although I wasn't like the main teacher, there's a main guitar teacher there. And then, um, I taught with a few other high schoolers at, in elementary school and DPS too, for a few years. I love, you know, meeting all of you amazing young musicians through From the Top and then discovering that even at the age of 17 or even when you were younger, I mean, even Amelia at 11, you guys are already becoming role models for for people who are your age, younger, maybe even older. But but that's that's a beautiful thing. OK, Amelia, what's your question for Gwyneth? Oh, like that was really great, like really beautiful piece. Oh, yeah. I love your playing. And um, yeah, my question is, well, I have two questions really, but um, my first question is, um, for being a guitarist, I have been excluded a lot of times, you know, with other kids. And like, I mean, I feel bad because of that, but I was wondering how you deal with that, if that happens to you. Um, wait, can, so I just want to clarify, are you saying sometimes you feel excluded because you're a guitarist or you feel excluded in guitar? No, I feel excluded because I'm a guitarist, yeah, like, by, like, other kids, yeah. Well, I think in, in many ways guitar is um, a, a very a very difficult instrument to play, not just because it's, it's hard to play itself, but also because um, sometimes it's not completely considered a classical instrument, and... Um, 
sometimes also, you know, when you get really focused on guitar, you're, you're not as involved socially and stuff sometimes. And so um, I think it's easy, very easy to feel that way. And I know I felt very much the same sentiment as you in um, middle school and high school and throughout. Um, I'm excited in college to be going to a school that's just music. So then I'm with a bunch of people who play music. But I know I, you are not alone in this because I definitely felt very similar to you. Um, I think one really important thing that I try to remember in the world of music is um, with with the, the guitar, you know, it's really a very universal instrument and it's not just played in like one culture or one style of music. It really transcends a lot of cultural boundaries. And so I try to remember that I could always use the guitar to um, bring people together, even if a lot of the outside world um, felt exclusionary. Um, and then I think, I think it really, Another really good thing to remember is, um, you know, a lot of a lot of times we focus on really small moments, and there's there's often I think a bigger arc of, of stuff that really matters a lot. And so to me, I'd say um, my family matters a lot, music matters a lot, helping other people matters a lot, and um, focusing on those things and those broader things and really what my goals were in that way helped me get through some of the smaller issues in my life too. Yeah. Yeah, definitely great advice. Yeah, the other question is like more um, cycle. <laughs> yeah, because I was thinking of a lot of good memories I have with my friends from before the pandemic. So I was wondering if you have any like funny or like, yeah, funny memories from being like with your musician friends or playing music. Oh, funny memories from playing music. Yeah. Okay, so this is kind of a story. I'll, I'll try to make it relatively short. Um, and it's, it's from a long time ago, um, but I, I told, uh, I was actually, I was texting Eric the other day and I told this to him and so it's what oh. comes up in my mind first, so I'm going to go ahead and tell it. Um, if you know the, if you've ever heard of, I'm sure many people are watching this, have the late cellist um, Maestro Lynn Harrell, who he was an amazing musician, a huge inspiration to me. Um, he played a concert in Denver and I ushered at the concert and um, he was playing with a chamber ensemble and I didn't realize there was, this is when I was a lot younger, I didn't realize there was a difference between cello chairs and regular chairs and I mixed around the mm. chairs and they had to like come back out and like put them in the right place and stuff and I was really worried about mixing around the chairs and stuff and so I came up to him afterwards and was like, Maestro, I'm so sorry and apologized and he was really cool about it and was like, oh, that's fine. And then he was like, wait, I need to shake your hand. Can I shake your hand? And I was like, okay. And so I, sh I don't play a bowed instrument, but I did shake his bowing hand and that was, that was very exciting for me. So, so that's a kind of a funny moment, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's been awesome to just get to sit back and listen to the three of you play and also talk with one another and share your experiences as young guitarists. But we're going to close out with one more piece. But before we do that, I want to thank all three of you for joining us and for giving us our very first guitar night on From the Top. Uh, this has been so much fun. I just, I'm a big fan of all of yours. Uh, loved when you were all on the show. And it's so great to now bring you all together like this. Thank you all so much. Yeah, elbow bump. Elbow bump. And thank you uh, for all of you for tuning in and listening and watching tonight. We so appreciate your support. And uh, it's just been a pleasure spending this time with all of you. And now, uh, Gwyneth, what are we going to have to take us out of the program? Oh, so um, before I want to play, I just want to say, um, Eric and Amelia, you guys are both so amazing. It's such an honor to work with you and Peter, too, and everyone from the top. Thank you so much for doing this. I appreciate it so much. Um, I'll be playing the prelude from Bach's uh, second suite. It's the second lute suite, but it was actually most likely written for lute harpsichord, which is a little different from lute, um, BWV 997. And it's a combination of transcriptions, primarily by Frank Kuntz and Tillman Hofstock. All right, let's finish out with this Bach. Can't wait. Thank you.
Yeah, beautiful, beautiful Bach from Gwyneth Aguilar. You heard earlier from Amelia Diaz Delgado and Eric Wong. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. We really appreciate you it. You all were amazing. Yeah. Thank you all for watching. I'm Peter Dugan. Good night. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye.